here's Odun back again. Good on you, Odun. Listen, um, one of the things that has been troubling an awful lot of people, and they've been asking this, they said, listen, give us some examples, some examples. You talked about the synoptic um, material, that the, the Quran, very similar to our synoptic gospels, that you have stories that are similar uh, within the Quran, but obviously either written at a later date or written by different hands. Now, we don't have a difficulty with this in the New Testament uh, because of the fact that we believe that they are written by different authors. We know that. We put, put the names of the authors Thank out you. there. And we get accused of this all the time in, in as Christians by the Muslims that see this, how can this be from Jesus? That who's Matthew? Who's Mark? Who's Luke? Who's John? And our response is, well, that's a given. That is understood. They were there. They were witnesses, or they got it from the witnesses. That's why you get the same story, but four different cat, four different, four different perspectives. To us, that enhances the story because you're getting four different testimonies. Now you're saying that the same thing exists in the Quran, and you're actually going to give some examples. You, they've been asking examples. Over to you. What are these examples that you've been giving us? So I will speak about Guillaume D's work especially so it's not my work but as i already told your audience i'm relying on very advanced scholars and i'm making a sort of synthesis of what they what they did for the general public and i've got here a very interesting example um that um, which is for me evidence that there were different authors different scribes okay. that were working on the quranic text and that they wrote it and rewrote it added details and so that there was the, and so there is evidence that there was um, an editing process and a writing process for the making of the Quranic text. G Guillaume D. he wrote many many articles in French and books and books also but he also writes in English and there is a very interesting article you can find it on the on the web which is concepts and methods in the study of the Quran. That's in English for those of us who have to speak English. Obviously, we don't understand. That's very nice. Thank you for that. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I, have, I have taken two, two examples from this article and I want to show to your audience um, in order to prove that the Quran, the Quranic text has gone through an editing process. Um, it is about the first example is um, are the different uh, narratives about the creation of Adam and Iblis in the Quran. We, um, we have variations that show us uh, that there was an editing process. Mm -hmm. And there is also a very interesting discovery uh, Guillaume D made. Uh, actually, it was one of his students, uh, Julien de Charneau, who, who made the discovery about the Mizan word in the beginning of Surah 55. So let's jump to the presentation. Let me share my screen. Okay, so uh, by the way, if you hear some noise, I think it's one of my neighbors drilling his wall. So uh, don't worry about the, the background noise. It sounds like a cow um, mooing in the background. <laughs> he's drilling, he's drilling very hard on very tough concrete walls. But uh, I'm hoping it will be, it will be done soon. So, uh, but let's go back to, to the presentation of those variations in the Adam Iblis narrative. Um, you find them in many, many different surahs. But here uh, I have put put uh, together three three different narratives that we find in Surah two, Surah four thirty eight, and Surah fifteen, and we will see that we have differences, sort of discrepancies, be between the um, the different stories, and I think those are proof, uh, and I think Guillaume D also thinks those are proof of an editing process and a rewriting process. So in Surah 2, we have a very short passage, Surah 2 verse 34, about the, um, the prostration of the angels before Adam and the refusal uh, of Iblis, which said, and when we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam, 
So they prostrated, except for Ibris, he refused, and he was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. And in uh, Surah 38 and 15, we have different version, versions of this same story and versions with added details. So, um, for example, uh, in uh, Surah 38, verse 71 and 15, 28, um, the narrator has changed. It is not God anymore who speaks, but someone who said, when your Lord, instead of when we said to the angels, when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a human being from clay, and a detail which is absent from Surah 2. And in Surah 15, there is an added detail, which is the, the type of clay uh, out of which the human being will be created. It is an altered black mud. And in Surah 15, in the previous verses, um, in, I, I don't remember the exact uh, verses, but um, from, from number 20, I guess, it is, uh, um, there are details about the, this uh, altered black mud. And on others, others, other details, uh, that are absent from Suwachu. So when I have proportioned him and breathed into him my, of my soul, the same in Surah 15. And then we have almost the same as in Surah 2, prostrate before Adam, then fall down to him in prostration, fall down in the same. So the angel prostrated, the same, all of them entirely, except Iblis. And here in Surah 15, we have something from Surah 2, he refused, which is absent from Surah 38, and he refused to be with those prostrated. Surah 15 adds another detail that is not in Surah 2 to explain what uh, Iblis refused. He refused to be with those who prostrated. And he was, and uh, he refused so, and um, Adam Iblis became arrogant and became among the disbelievers, Kafirun. Um, and in the following parts of Surah 38 and Surah 15, the story goes on, but there is nothing in Surah 2 about, about those new details. And um, a bit like before, we have different versions of the same story with details in one version that are not in the other and, and, um, and the other way around. For example, the arrogance of Iblis is pointed out in Surah 38, but not in Surah 15. Here we see it in uh, uh, <laughs> Surah 38, verse, verse 75, where you arrogant then, and where you already among the Houthi. Um, <clears throat> Surah 15 keeps on with the altered black mud uh, story, which we do not, we still do not find in Surah 38. I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. And in Surah 15, it's out of clay from an altered black mud. A thing which is very um, remarkable in Surah 15, um, the paradise is not named. There is a pronoun for it. In Surah 38, verse 77, then get out of paradise. And in Surah 15, then get out of it. As as if the, 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 the scribe uh, kind of already knew that it was about the paradise, but forgot to mention it. And so on. It, in, we see almost exactly the same narrative from in Surah 38 and in Surah 15, 38, 78 to 81. And in Surah 15, verse 35 to 38, it's, it is the same narrative, almost the same. Then a detail in Surah 15 that is not in Surah 38. Uh, and thereafter, the almost the same narrative with some added details in Surah 38. So we see that we have three stories that are very close, 
uh, at least in, in for the beginning of the story, it's almost the same in Surah 2, in Surah 38, in Surah 15. But we see that the scribes added details. And I think the best hypothesis for, for the, those variations in the narrative is that it was an editing process, a rewriting process. One could also put forth the hypothesis that it was the preacher who changed his narrative and who preached uh, one day uh, something like Surah 2, the other day something like Surah 38, and the day after um, something like Surah 15. But uh, all in all, it really looks like a writing process because it is, for some parts, they are exactly the same. Like they were uh, copied and, and pasted. Um, like, like with, um, with the computer software. <laughs> Those are exactly, exactly the same uh, verses. For example, 78 and um, 38, 78 and 15, 35. So I think it is an editing process and a, and a writing process, much more than an, um, a preaching or an oral, an oracular process. Well, this is good. This is ex excellent. Thanks, Odon. This proves this proves that there has been a reworking. That this proves that a story, a simple story, Adam and Iblis, as you put down there in chapter two, in chapter thirty-eight, in chapter fifteen, so many differences between the di different narrations, proving that there are either three different mm -hmm. authors, which no Muslim will accept. No Muslim will accept that right there, or there has been a change. A manipulation in both cases of 38 and 15 additions because there's a lot more in chapter 38 and chapter 15 than you have in chapter 2 so they've added to it they've accreted it and even they don't agree because they have variations with between 38 and 15. so that the conclusion is very simple either this is three different authors who are looking at a uh a story that has been passed down to them from earlier and they are now just putting their own imprints on it. They're putting their own take on it, which is what we know and we're quite familiar with and we're very comfortable with in the New Testament synoptic gospels because we know that there are four different writings of the same events. Sometimes one embellishes one, one says more about that event than the other. Sometimes one, uh, one author writes in a completely different style than the other. That's what you would expect from four different authors. But you don't expect that from the Quran. No, the Quran is eternal. And there is no authorship. You cannot have human manipulation. You cannot have accretions and deletions. It must be exactly the same story, word for word, idea for idea, sentence for sentence. And yet you're just showing three examples of where Guillaume D has found exactly. three different <laughs> stories, uh, the same story, but three different ways of saying the same story, proving a later accretion, or in this case, proving that there was, uh, that there was an adaptation. Good stuff. Um, Jay, I, I could add a sort of cher cherry on top of the cake. Um, this is a French expression, the cherry on the cake. No, we have it cake. in English as well. Give us a cherry on top of the cake. <laughs> you have the same. We have the okay. same. We got it from you guys. Um, we thank you for that because you you're see, the one you see, us Jay, this, this story, this story about the, the, the creation of Adam and the prostration of the angels and and uh, this iblis now uh, is this iblis thing we find we find sources of this in the jewish christian tradition the former jewish christian tradition in a, in a book which is called the life of adam and eve and <laughs> again again we we already discussed it but it's all about the context you mm -hmm. see this story was in the Jewish Christian context of the 7th century in the Middle East. And we find it in the Quran and we find different variations, details, added details about this story. And so one can uh, only come to the conclusion that the Quran is a text that has been made out of the religious seventh the seventh century religious religious context and it has gone through um an editing process a writing and rewriting process brilliant 
So now we even know where the source is, which is what we've been always saying. They're all coming from an antecedent. In this case, it is an antecedent that comes from the 7th century, from the Jewish Christian milieu. It is, comes out of that. They lifted it out by the 8th and 9th century when they're putting the Quran together. You have not only different authors, but you can't even agree on what kind of clay they're talking about. One says clay, the other says black mud. So even that shows human intervention. That shows that there has been an addition by later scribes who then write to, want to write in, in, in their own viewpoints or their own uh, additions into this text. Well done. Thank you for this. Good example. And I understand you have another example. We'll be doing that one next. Thanks so much, Odin. Exactly. This is Jay and Odin. Over and out.